We get some nice damage there. We do poison, though. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Why'd we poison? Yeah. We graveyard. Poison's down again. Wow, what a cycle. What a cycle. Hey, guys. What's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. Today, we're going to cover one of the best and most classic and free-to-play ladder-friendly graveyard decks in the game. It is this deck here. We are joined by Gaming with Civ YouTube. Check it out, guys. It is, like, super, super easy to handle, easy to play, the easiest graveyard deck in the game, and we are inside a grand challenge. This video is going to be really fun because there are no margins for error at all in this video. If we lose one match, the video is over so let's see how we do we're nine in two inside this grand challenge now of course this is an amazing ladder deck for graveyard players out there graveyard enthusiasts maybe players who have never picked up a graveyard deck before again all the cards uh either common or rare with the exception of of course graveyard the wing condition which is not as level dependent as a lot of a lot of other wing conditions in the game and of course the poison which you know hopefully you have it at a decent level in this deck so that's what we have in terms of the deck game Gaming with Civ YouTube, he's been on the channel before. This guy's really, really good with a variety of different decks, uh, but Civ is back at it here with this classic, and we'll see how he can do inside this grand challenge. He has won six grand challenges out of his last seven using this deck. So needless to say, both on ladder and a tournament level standard, this guy absolutely loves this deck. So Three Musketeers high here. We go in the graveyard immediately. What are we going to go with it? Okay, we're just going to play a little bit of soft defense here. Getting a lot of damage from those skeletons on that left side tower. Snowball is going to come down, pushing those musketeers back. Bandit forced out of the opponent's hand to defend against that graveyard. Not an ideal selection there. We have Knight in hand. Let's see if we go with it here. We do. All right, so... The opponent with about a, a two elixir advantage. They will have to respond to this knight, though. They just might go three musketeers or royal ghost. Let's see what they decide to do here. Oh, they leak. They leak a lot of their elixir advantage kind of away, and they decide to pump. So we're going against three musketeer pump. It has been a while here against this Chinese fellow running the old pump version of three musky. We go with the snowball there, preventing that battle ram from connecting to the right tower. We will lose those archers, no big deal. Three Musketeers played again very high this time. We don't go with the immediate uh, graveyard. We go with the poison instead. We are well into double elixir time. So here we go. Bandit's going to stay alive. The Musketeers do evaporate in that poison. 24, 23 seconds remaining on the clock. The pump advantage from the opponent. Now you really want a graveyard into pumps in this game. Let's see if that's what we decide to do here on the counterattack. Again, high three musketeers. Again, with the poison very, very quickly down. Poison putting in work there. And look at the meat shield of those barbarians. And look at the graveyard on that left tower. Going into sudden death, 1127 remaining on that weak side tower for the opponent. Our tower is absolutely 100% healthy here. Not one damage off of them. Again, we go in with the graveyard. Not enough elixir left to go with three musketeers from the opponent. Instead, they go with Bar Barrel. We go with a Snowball, slowing everything down. Hunter comes down from the opponent. 8-11 remaining. 7-44 remaining. Here we go again. Another pump healthy from the opponent. Three Musketeers comes down. Okay, so we Poison in the right. He might Bar Barrel in the right, too. Let's see what he does. We Snowball, finishing off those Musketeers. Knight down for the Royal Ghost. Man, this match is intense to start this video off, guys. And it's never over against three Musketeers. It's never over. Notice the patience displayed by Civ here, though. Going really slow. A lot of high three Musketeers. Man, this guy plays a lot of high three Muskies. I kind of like it, actually. Putting the pressure on. Not working out perfectly well for him here yet. But again, he's going to be able... This is going to be a draw, guys. This is going to be a draw. All we have to do is defend, and we have all the tools necessary to do so. Barbutt's going to put in work on that left side. Don't even need to place anything else. We have poison back in hand. We go ahead and use it in the right. Royal Ghost falls down right into the poison. He might go hard on the left. He does. Battle Ram down. Musketeer down, and again, Barbutt down. That's it, man. All we have to do is defend. This one will be a draw, but it will be a victory. Hey, perfect time to shout out my creator code. <laughs> Thank you guys for using creator code CWA in all Supercell games. You play Brawl Stars. Do you play any other Supercell games? Let me know. 
Do you play Clash of Clans? What other games are there? Boom Beach? <laughs> Obviously Brawl Stars? Heyday? Who could forget Heyday, right? And then Heyday Pop, right? That's the new game. That's the new game. Does anybody play Heyday Pop out there? But as we predicted, no more damage. Barb Hut on the bridge, no big deal. <laughs> That's gonna be a victory. Let's go ahead and go into the next match, guys. I'll be right back when we find it. All right, guys, here we go inside the next one here against Ryo. All right, again, need two victories. Should be able to handle that, hopefully. Maybe. It is two victories in a point in a grand challenge where I could never get. Again, I'm throwing too many questions at you guys this video, but be honest with me. If you were to start, press play on a grand challenge right now. Another three musky deck? Oh my word, dude. How many wins do you think you could get with this deck? If you were to press play right now in a grand challenge or with any deck, with your best deck, be, be truthful. Is it like two or do you think you can get 12? If there was thousand dollars on the line now we're talking maybe that'll be my next challenge <laughs> be a long video though go ahead 12 matches uh or 14 matches we'll see if you can get 12 wins anyway here we go nice job protecting that hunter from the opponent we have our archers get uh destroyed by that bar barrel and hunter's still alive here comes the royal hogs we're gonna go in with the snowball so three musketeers and uh royal hogs hunter deck Ooh, this is gonna be trouble here. We go skeletons around that hunter. We need to take that hunter down, and we do. Okay, we take some damage, though. I don't like that, man. And I felt like we had to use a lot of elixir defending there. We're not gonna go graveyard here. We can't. We don't even have the elixir. We go knight at the bridge. Interesting. Interesting that we decide to go with a knight at the bridge like that. We do get the barbarians to the tower. A couple swings. Not bad, but... He might go... He could go in a few directions here, the opponent. They could just stack that lane up. And they do. Fisherman with the Royal Ghost. It's going to be a challenging defense, I think. We do finish off, though. Oh! Beautiful snowball, but the Fisherman does get to the tower. Gets a hit on it, too. Or just that, not charge, but whatever the Fisherman does. Fish slap. <laughs> All right. 1497. Now, oh, here it goes. Harkening back to last match, we see the high three Musketeers. Trying to block for the bar putt. We didn't need the skeleton block, but it still works out for us there just fine. And we take uh, two shots from that musketeer. Royal Hogs are in hand. We go with our first graveyard of the match here, guys. Opponent going to be able to defend fairly easily. The heal spirit. Get the hunter. Barbarian from the barbarian barrel. Royal ghost fisherman. Not looking so good. I don't feel that great about this match, guys. I feel like it's going to take a little bit of a miracle at this point. I don't know. Here we go. Three Musketeers high again. Bar putt low. Trying to stack those bar putts in the right-hand lane. We place the poison down, taking care of the two weak side Musketeers. Going to have to deal with Royal Hogs coming down probably soon. Nope. They just keep putting the pressure on. And the Hunter does not get a shot on. That was really crucial there, guys. Can the Archer finish off? No, we don't. We go with the Mega Minion instead. Again, these Barbarians really putting in some defensive work for us. Another Knight comes down as well. That's going to be good job styming that Royal Ghost. And again, Skeleton cycled on the right, getting back to Archers. Here comes the Heal Spirit wasted by the opponent. Not too bad. We go in the Graveyard immediately. They have Royal Ghost in hand. Royal Ghost comes down, assassinating our Archers. All right, so just like this, we're kind of, sort of, back in this. Kind of, sort of. Two Fishermen's. Royal Ghost coming down the right-hand lane. This is intense, man. Why am I so stressed at this match? Probably because I won't have a video if we lose. <laughs> and I'll be talking to myself and no one will ever hear this. All right, here we go. <laughs> Mega Minion. Snowball. Royal Ghost. Royal Ghost. Okay, Knight comes down, but he does get that splash damage. Big push incoming. He has three muskies in hand. We can just poison this. Nice, easy poison. We can potentially even graveyard here. No. Yeah, no. Okay. <sighs> we barb hut up. Good God, this is stressful for me, guys. Bar barrel comes down. We go with the graveyard. Okay. Snowball comes down as well. Archer's in hand for this, uh, no. Tower's on the Hunter. We get some nice damage there. We do poison, though. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Why'd we poison? Yeah. We graveyard. Poison's down again. Wow, what a cycle. What a cycle. 
Snowball poison kills everything. <laughs> oh my god. 900 damage remaining on his tower. Bad RNG. There are skeletons everywhere except for the tower. 12 seconds remaining. We go with another poison. Here comes the royal hogs from the opponent. We got eight, seven seconds remaining. Six, five. We need to snowball that tower now. We do it. Three, two, and one. And we win off the draw. Oh my god. That match. Good god, dude. Wow, GG's. All right, guys. I'll come back at you in a second. Keeping the video alive, man. All right, guys. Here we go. That was quite a wait, but we find a match. We found one. We found one. Lord Zang. Oh, man, dude. This guy's a bridge spam god. Siv gives the lucky Inferno Tower. You know we have to respond with the best emo in the game. I'll give you some real life Inferno Tower into the webcam. I don't know what I'm on today, guys. I apologize, but here we go. Starting out with an aggressive snowball on the left side tower of the Zang. All right, we go in with the bar putt to start things out. Bar putt, always a fairly safe starting play, especially if they make a commitment, like they say they cycle a knight or something behind their king tower. Uh, also, an even safer starting play would just be archer split in the back, as pretty much is the the uh, the go-to safe starting play with any deck, including archers. Nice block by the opponent with the fisherman. I'm not sure if it's going to end up paying off all that much here. We just go with archers in the back. Is it an Elixir Golem deck, guys? Uh, I don't know. We go Graveyard probably in the right here. Let's see. No, we're waiting, waiting. Pekka comes down. Okay. So it's just a weird Pekka deck. Lord Zang always plays Pekka, uh, pe 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 always plays Pekka Bridge Spam. Looks like that's not kind of the case today. We'll see what the rest of his cards are. The E-Drag's just throwing me off. So he goes in with that heal spirit. Heal spirit is so good. I mean, good God. Heals that E-Drag right back up. Mega Minion is struggling, but does end up taking it down. And look at that beautiful Night Block there. Okay. So we got something to go in here, I guess. 10 seconds only already remaining in single elixir time. They go with the Fisherman in the back. Still don't know what the rest of the cards in this dude's deck are. Go in the graveyard. He might have poison. Probably does. No. Nope. Goes with Bar Barrel. We poison, nice poison value. Hitting the barbarian, the hunter, the, the, the tower, the fisherman. Fisherman's not dead yet, but he is now. Heal Spirit comes down, hitting absolutely nothing. And we go with that bar putt again in the right hand lane. Just thank God it's not three musketeers. Although I don't want to speak too soon. You never know, right? Never know in this meta. What? Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh. Sorry, guys. Wi Fi blip. What's going on here? Go graveyard, opposite lane. Trying to take advantage of the opponent going really aggressive in the right with the Fisherman, the E-Drag, and the P.E.K.K.A. Challenging uh, combination. They're going to have a Heal Spirit maybe down here. No, they go Ram Rider on the left. So it is a Ram Rider deck. Go with another Bar Putt, though. Beautiful Bar Putt. Last second. Able to get some nice damage on that left-hand tower, guys. I kind of missed it, but here we go with the Graveyard probably again. Nope. Yep. <laughs> okay. Two, one, nice delay there. We have uh, the, uh, we go with the snowball there. Snowball very effective against uh, in combination with the graveyard. You can see how much value he's gotten throughout all these matches with the snowball. Let's see, are we able to stop this though? We have bar putt back in hand. There it goes. Nice deep bar putt, nice separation using the uh, skeletons, pulling that P.E.K.K.A. away. P.E.K.K.A. is being targeted by the tower. They're aggressively going at us at the bridge here. Bar a barrel does come down. Heal Spirit unable to heal up that hunter that was crucial for us. And nice defense. Just beautiful defense here. You can see why Siv is so uh, successful with this deck. This guy plays very, very solid defense with this deck. Very basic deck to understand. We're going to go same lane into the P.E.K.K.A. We could Graveyard here. Let's see what we do. Nice thing about Graveyard. Okay, we Graveyard opposite lane again. Nope. No Graveyard. Okay, now Graveyard. My bad, my bad, my bad. Get a little excited here. Got to be careful because we want to cycle too. We have to go on the aggressive. You can see we're switching lanes here. Because we don't want to deal with a counterattack with a deck like this. Two E-Drags coming down the left. We have Mega Minion in hand. Not the end of the world. Ram Rider is going to be a tough combination with the P.E.K.K.A. Nice separation there. Snowball perfectly timed. Trying to get that Knight away from the Ram Rider. Nice job with the Archers here. He has enough for a... He already used Fireball. Excuse me. 
Getting a lot of value out of these bar putts, a lot of value out of these snowballs. He goes with the Ram Rider in the right-hand lane. We go with the bar putt again. He goes with a fireball. Ill-advised fireball, maybe? Let's see. Oh, there's no, there's no 20 seconds left. It's not an ill-advised fireball. The match is almost over, dude. Ash, you're not on your A game today, bro. Here we go. 12 seconds remaining. We need a bar putt or something. Snowball, maybe, please. Thank you. Anybody? Seven, six, five remaining. Another close match. Three and two. And make it another GG, another tie, another victory off the draw. Whoa, dude. This video was a roller coaster of yours truly's emotions, guys. My word. This is not a sponsored shout out, but I got this whoop bracelet. <laughs> And I'm really curious to see. I'm really curious to see if my heart rate went up at all throughout this video. Uh, my data is my data is like 10 minutes behind right now. I was curious, you know. Anyway, guys, uh, very very interesting. A huge shout out to Siv. My God, he absolutely destroyed it. He just uh, tweeted at me. Let's go, bro. Yeah, very, very well done. Congratulations on that victory, guys. Check out the deck link, as always, here on the channel in the show notes below. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I clearly did. I'm just going to take a little nap now to recover from this gameplay. Uh, check out uh, uh, Siv's, uh, what is very close ending, he says. Yes, indeed. Oh, he's showing us a, all right, you know what? Why not? Why not extend the video after you guys all tune out? That's a way to, uh, lose your uh, <laughs> well, I'm not going to get the YouTube algorithm but yeah having everybody tune out early because you think the video is ending is not a good strategy for uh, you know future YouTubers out there but anyway guys deck links always in the show notes below big 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 announcement coming with me and my YouTube partner Bren Chong in my company uh, AMG so stay tuned for that information as well coming very soon uh, follow Siv check out his player stats and profile links to the statsreal.com support my guests out here on the channel by following them on Twitter social media etc I always have that link in the show notes below and I do sponsor uh, tournaments now or excuse me I do host tournaments sponsored by guys or oops uh, every uh, not every day but about three days a week so I know a lot of you guys hundreds of you guys have already joined in on those tournaments on a, on a uh, you know daily semi daily basis I invite the rest of you to go ahead and do the same it's a nice because it actually attaches and it connects right to your Clash Royale API your account so there's really nothing that needs to be tracked or done on your end you just link your account to the app the geyser app and boom it, and look, that was a close ending. Good gosh. Uh, yeah, boom, you're, you're good to go. That's it. All your ma all your ladder matches and whatever, it all counts. If you're in a bracket, it automatically friend requests and pairs you with that person. It's really seamless. I think you guys will really be impressed. So check out the down the Geyser download link as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to Brent Chong, my YouTube partner again. And as always, take care, guys. Bye.